catcalling. Are you familiar with the phrase catcalling? Catcalling? Yes, that's when you're walking down the street and guys are trying to highlight you, get your attention, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that annoying to someone like yourself or flattering? Um, it is really both. Sometimes. It depends on my mood that day. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, I get attention today. And then other times I'll be like, all right, leave me alone. Too much attention. Yeah. Has it ever been disrespectful? Definitely. I've had a guy smack me on my butt before. It got and physical. I didn't know him. Yeah. It was very, that's very disrespectful. If I do not know you, don't touch me. Don't grab my arm. Don't do none of that. If I don't answer when you say something to me, then just leave it alone. What environment was this when he did that? Outside. It was, <laughs> it was actually outside going towards, well, going in Lennox Mall. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> that could be a charge. It could have been. But, you know, I don't, I don't really want to do all that sometimes. Mm. Now, um... That didn't end up in a fight or anything? No. Okay. Um, but even with your girlfriends that you do have and that sort of thing, um, have any of them ever got physical because of catcalling? Did they ever get into a fight or that sort of thing, a tussle because of catcalling? They have def not, not necessarily got into a fight with them. They have slapped guys. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, punched them. Um, You've never done Cussed that. Cussed out. I punched a couple guys. Because of catcalling? Yeah. It's just certain things you say. Certain so it has gotten say. physical. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, it has. Um, uh, you know, usually when I do these sets of questions, you know, people have been disrespected, of course, but it's more verbal, mm -hmm. not so much physical. But occasionally, I've done an interview with a female that has gotten to a fight. You know, with a guy or, yeah, you that know. Can happen. That can definitely happen. Now, uh, when it comes to different cities, you've traveled to other cities. Mm -hmm. uh, some may be more polite than others. Some may be more disrespectful than others. In your opinion, what city do you think is the worst? Motherfucking California. I was in L.A. and these girls just bumped into me, just kept bumping into me like, do y'all not say excuse me here? Or is that like a Southern thing, like a Southern hospitality thing? Like, I, it was like so bad to the point where I just wanted to fight the last girl, for real. Like, y'all just really don't say excuse me. It's a simple word. Y'all had all that space over there, but y'all want to bump into me. Maybe it's a hate thing, because you know I'm not from here. But I don't know. I just don't like, I love LA, but I don't like LA. But what about like catcalling from guys though? Oh, uh, catcalling? Yeah. What do you think the worst city that you've traveled to has been? Maybe they're the most aggressive or the most disrespectful or the most annoying. What city for you maybe has it been mm -hmm. so far? Probably, I probably have to say my own city. Atlanta? <laughs> Atlanta, yes. Pretty bad. It's horrible here. What do you think's the politest city you've visited to when it comes to catcalling? Maybe Guys are a little more respectful, more gentleman-like. We'll leave you alone if need be. There's really a lot of gentlemen, believe it or not, in uh, Louisiana. Certain city or just the whole state? I was in Baton Rouge. Is that how you say mm -hmm. the other part? Yeah, Baton Rouge. And they were so nice. And, and in California, um, L.A. and Hollywood type area. They were very polite. They opened your doors, everything. So the girls weren't so polite, but uh, no. <laughs> the guys were. Yeah. I mean, some of the girls gave compliments, but mostly guys. What's the best way to approach someone like yourself? The best way to approach me is in a funny way. I like to laugh. So if you can't make me laugh, then don't approach me. <laughs> Do guys ever use pickup lines approaching you? Yeah, and that's, that makes me laugh because it's like, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Do they work? Do pickup lines work? They get you to laugh, but does it work to it get any further It depends on who it that? is. Like if I turn around, it's like somebody that's like, oh, you're fine, then yes. Are pickup lines fading, fading away? <laughs> 
Um, they faded away, but now they're like at first. I guess they used them to really pick up girls. Now they're just like funny. So I don't know. It might be fading away. What's been the worst, the corniest, or most memorable pickup line you ever heard? The stupid Tennessee one. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only ten I see. Like, are you serious? You couldn't come up with. You couldn't Google nothing else better than that. <laughs> you must get that one a lot. <laughs> I do. <laughs> do you ever give out a fake phone number? Definitely. <laughs> All the time. All the time. All the time. Do they ever get smart enough to try to call it on the spot? Oh yeah, especially at work. I'd be like, my phone is in the back, it's on the charger. Uh -huh. um, we're not allowed to use our phones out here on the floor. <laughs> so Stuff like that. anybody hears that excuse from you, that's... Hey man, it is what it is. That's cap. <laughs> I said what I said. 